Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome on in. Sorry, I was trying to get my stream deck to connect. It seems like it's having some issues today, but that's okay. We can just do it manually. <laughs> Welcome on in, everybody. We are going to be playing Shining Soul 2 today. Uh, I'm Pandorasaurus, the Stegosaurus PNG tuber. One of uh, three or four Stegosauruses. There's a whole herd of us, uh, which is pretty exciting. Uh, and I am uh, coming to you from, uh, well, from my computer. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah let me give some thank you or some welcomes welcomes and thank yous uh welcome in in thunder welcome on in thunder that coyote who got first today congratulations on your first uh pocket paris hello and if you're not following pocket paris she is a parasaurolophus uh png tuber she's last been playing dave the diver which i haven't been able to catch her streams for I haven't, haven't not been able to catch her Dave the Diver streams, but I hope that's been going really well. And uh, Ampelion, welcome on in. And I know Ampelion has been playing retro games, among them uh, the original Shining Soul, as well as uh, a dinosaur-themed game, a dinosaur RPG platformer game called Dinosaurus. Uh, Dino, di yeah, Dinosaurus. Uh, I'm thinking about playing that. I'm thinking about playing it on my stream as well, considering uh, how much I enjoyed watching his playthrough. Well, <laughs> his playing of the first, like up to the first boss, uh, I was pretty intrigued by it. So I'm gonna give it a try uh, on my uh, future streams. We'll see. Stream deck still not connecting. What a disappointment. Tizilla, welcome on in. <laughs> And Ragey, good morning or good afternoon uh, in, in Ireland. Uh, and yes, Cezilla, welcome on in. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to give my stream deck one more try to uh, connect here. I don't know what's going on with it. Sorry for the windows noises, by the way. It's not a big deal if it doesn't want to connect. It's like connecting, but then when I hit the buttons, nothing happens. Does this work? Oh, oh that works. But then this doesn't work. Okay, so the avatar avatar states work, but not changing my scenes. Interesting. Wait. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Anyway. It's alright, it's alright. <laughs> uh Tazilla is currently playing Left 4 Dead 2, listening to the stream. Oh, who's your I don't know if I asked this before, who's your main in Left 4 Dead 2? Uh, in the first game, I think my main was Bill, and then in the second game, I either play Ellis or Nick. But who do you like? I know it doesn't really matter. It's not like each character has their own abilities or anything like that. But, uh, but uh, you know, you got your favorites. You know, I love Ellis with his stories about his buddy Keith. You know, that, that always cracks me up. In fact, Left 4 Dead 2 might be a fun one to do. That might be... That might be a fun one to do with uh, Lady Flip on some co-op segments, maybe back in like October or something for Halloween month. Think about that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right, let's go hop into our gaming screen. I don't know, my stream deck doesn't want to change scenes, but I can do it manually, no problem. So we're gonna be playing Shining Soul 2 today. And how is the game audio? It might be okay. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So we've been playing as Tyroth, the Dragon Newt. Basically the Dragonborn character. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, it loads our save in the bed. Uh, now, is this... Okay, no. Sorry. Whoa! I've been headcrabbed. Thank you, Tazilla. <laughs> <laughs> now we talked to all these guys last time, so we can go ahead and start the next level. Now, what I'm thinking... So we've got two options. We've got the Grandma Kalita's Well, which is our side quest, and we've got the Giant's Graveyard, which is part of the main story. I'm hoping we'll have time for both adventures uh, in the stream, but I don't know if we'll have time for both. So in case we only have time for one, I'll let me change my, my volume is really loud on my end. It's loud on my end. It's probably okay on you guys' end, though. Uh, so in case we only have time for one, I want to get to a vote, and you guys can see which one you want to vote for. Do you want to see the Giant's Graveyard first, or do you want to see the uh, Grandma Kalita's Well first? So let's start that poll for about... We'll do it for about a minute. Now I'll, just, I'll let you guys decide which one you want to see first, just in case we don't have time for both. I hope we have time for both, but in case we don't, uh, which one do you want to see first? Uh, which level first? Grandma's Well... Or Giant's Graveyard. And again, um, 
Grandma Khalid as well. <laughs> Thank you, G-Man. Uh, Grandma Khalid as well is the side quest, and uh, Giant's Graveyard is the main quest. I hope we have time for both, but they might be kind of long, so we'll see. Uh, add a couple of mods to Left 4 Dead 2. Skins and a weapon skin. What kind of skins did you get? The only mod I use for Left 4 Dead 2 is uh, in the... Sorry, I'm stretching. In the uh, mall stage. There's like the, the shop where they sell like the toy giraffes. I have a mod that changes that to giraffe ring Pokemon. It's really cute. <laughs> I think I have a, a clip of me uh, in that part of the game talking about it. But yeah, go ahead and vote which one you want to see first. We'll do both eventually. I just want to make sure in case we only have time for one, which one you guys do you want to see today? Gundam and Transformer skins. Oh my gosh. And the weapon is uh, Optimus Prime skin in uh, Iron Blaster from a G1. Okay, you can see the Giant's Graveyard first. Let's do it. That's funny because, like, the Transformers are, are supposed to be really big. <laughs> so if you, it's funny to think about the skins of these characters and they're, like, really big. Or, you know, they're, they're going to be very small. So, if you missed last time we played this game, oh, a scale. Uh, we've been the um, ooh, spooky trees. So we're looking for the uh, the princess who got kidnapped, uh, and she's been captured and brought to the witch's palace. But in order to get to the witch's palace, we have to cross through the graveyard first. Can I get through here? No. So we're gonna cross the graveyard to get to the palace. Oh shoot! I'm poisoned. We're fine. We're playing as Tyroth, the Dragon Newt. His default color is red, but we went with purple, because purple is my favorite color. Oh, that... Okay, that was tearing up our hit points. Oh god, okay, uh... Here we go. A little bit of healing. Okay, I think I can't remember how to do this. I don't remember all the secrets. I used to know all of the secrets by heart uh, when I played this as a kid, but I don't remember all of it now. But I hope everyone's doing okay today. Oh, 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 okay, yay. The, uh, the clue is that the path kind of splits uh, in where this grass is, so let's go grab that. Cotton gloves. How does that compare to what we currently have? Oh, also, Ampilion uh, mentioned... Ooh. Oh, we don't have any hand armor. So Ampilion mentioned when he was playing Shining Soul 1, uh, this game, even though it says, like, Sega and Atlas on the uh, title screen, uh, apparently this game was actually developed by Suda51, which blew my mind because Suda51, I know them from uh, making No More Heroes. Uh, and I, I just wouldn't have expected this kind of game to be made by them. I, it's it's pretty, it kind of blew my mind. Uh, it's pretty great trivia that uh, Amp told me when he was playing the other game. Uh, do I know Spaceballs? I've never seen it, but I do know about it. It's like a comedy, uh, comedy Star Wars parody kind of game. Uh, sorry, game. Uh, movie. I'm glad we have such a- we got the fire axe, I think. It's, I'm glad we have such a good weapon for this. Uh oh Maybe you should have got more healing items before we, uh, explored here, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, Tyroth is the Dragon Newt. He is the strongest- one of the strongest characters. He's also one of the slowest, though, so we gotta be kind of careful. Oh, neat. Love to see it. You added a mod from Spaceballs until I did too. Showed a screenshot in the Discord. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll check that out. <laughs> I'll have to check that out after stream. Pocket. Hello, how are you doing? How was Dave the Diver? I know you didn't do your nostalgia stream this week. Oh, a uh, secret back here, I think. Oh, yes. Ha ha ha. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot, it's a fire skeleton. 
Oh gosh. Oh no! Crap. Uh, <laughs> this is fine. Hi, Ross. Hi, Ross. Good morning, you look much better today. All right, we died. We lost some of our treasure. Uh, and then if we go in here, aha, yes, there we go. A free angel wing. Yeah, we kind of we kind of fumbled that. Let's uh, actually, what have we got? Can we, yeah, we don't really have anything. Although I guess I'll sell the hand axe while we're here. Yeah, I kind of goofed that up. You lose uh, money. I think it's just money that you lose when you die. Um. Yeah, it's kind of a, a blunder. Oh shoot! No. Oh wait. I will put my scale in the inventory. So the scale is like a crafting item. Uh, when you talk to the uh, the guy who uh, makes crafts items for you, you can give him materials, and the scale is material for that. So let's actually hang on to that until we want to craft something. But for now. Yeah, we... Uh, I'm kind of embarrassed that I, like, died so early in the game. That's okay. Now I'm gonna put that in the bank. Okay, take, take all the money. And we'll go back to the angel and she'll take us back. Yeah, I, I tend to like the axe attack a little bit more than the flail attack. Because the axe kind of has a big, wide range to it. Oh, I gotta go all the way back to the start of the stage. Okay. It's okay, we're fine. I probably shouldn't have been attacking the skeleton with my fire weapon. Because it he's a fire enemy. So we're gonna switch to our flail. Get out of here. There we go. And yeah, our gold uh we lost some of our gold, but that's okay. And the treasure chest had 38 gold. Oh, that's right. We have the item that gives us increased uh, inventory space. <laughs> oh. And if you attack again right after using your special, uh, you get like a special bonus attack. Uh, you kind of have, you kinda have to uh, aim it, though. What's that? A bronze rod. Oh, it's not for us. Yeah, it's for the magic users. We can sell it, though. Get out of here. I should have bought more healing items while I was back in town. Nah, I'll be okay. Oh, level up. Let's go. Now, did we... Look, we have not... Whoops. No, we have not leveled up our Pari yet. I kind of want to do that. Because Tyroth is the slowest character and the final boss is very fast, we want to make sure we have all the uh, counterattacks we possibly can. So using the uh, Breath and the, the Pari is going to be really helpful for that. And I only know that because I've played this game before and I remember having to restart the game because I was so disappointed that like I was not equipped to fight the final boss because he was so fast. He kept hitting me and he killed me before I could even do anything. <laughs> But, uh, let's see. Alright, let's do... Let me think. I guess dexterity up, because we get more evasion. And then we'll just do more strength. Okay. Cotton glo- Oh, mystery cotton gloves. Ooh. Now, there is an item that I want, um, in this game. Oh, I don't have... Okay. I don't know why I unequipped that. Yeah, we want the Vest of Talent. That's what we want. Um, now, there is an item in this game called the Unlucky Hood. And it's like a leather hood, but it has the unlucky trait. And apparently... I've only ever read about this because I never found it in my playthrough. But the Unlucky Hood has a minus one to your luck. But apparently, if you equip it it actually makes your luck 100%, which means you always get an item uh, from killing enemies. I don't know if it's a bug. I assume it's a bug because like it's not supposed to do that. Uh, I've never gotten the item before, but if we find it, I definitely want it. Um, 
But that's something I've, I've read uh, on like forums and stuff. Like the unlucky hood is actually really good because it gives you items every single time you kill an enemy. It's like not actually unlucky. <laughs> I don't know if it's because, like, the programming of the item is, like, a minus one to your luck, but it actually, like, rolled over to, like, 100 or something. But other than that, like, I'll take whatever armor. Now, when you do the spin attack, that does actually use up some of your SP, so you gotta be kind of careful and wait for that to, like, refill so you don't use it up too much. Also, the blood dripping off of the table, that's pretty creepy. It's, uh, that's uh, pretty gross. Ugh. This game is rated E for everyone, by the way. Oops. <laughs> oh, monster card. Also, can we- oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's like Dark Souls. The game does not pause if you have the menu up. Oh, regular cotton hood. Actually, we could probably equip that just for some extra armor. No problem. Uh, let's see. Returns from the grave deals heavy blows. Yeah, you don't want to get- you don't want to get hit by the skeletons. They're pretty powerful. Ooh, poison- poison mummy, be careful about that. Secrets? Yeah. Get those secrets. Ooh, a wooden shield? Don't mind if I do. 16 to 20 defense. Oh, I gotta equip it. Oh yeah, I don't need that. Yeah, it's better than my hand item. Okay. Very labyrinth, labyrinth of death. <laughs> <laughs> More finished basement. Yeah, so in Shining Soul 1, when Amp was playing, there was a level called the Labyrinth of Death. And uh, it kind of looked like this. It was kind of like a big, like, dungeon. Uh, but Amp said it looked more like an unfinished basement, which is true. <laughs> I think the aesthetics of uh, the graveyard are a little bit more uh, spooky. Not just like somebody's unfinished basement. <laughs> Although, I liked how the Labyrinth of Death had little skeletons hanging from the ceiling that you could hit, and they would wiggle. But you can't- there's no, like, dangling skeletons in the stage. I kind of miss that. Uh, so that, uh, red arrow means we're about to go to a mini-boss. So let's go see what the mini-boss is all about. I know I'm low on health. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> the human soul is hidden under a gravestone? Sheesh, why do we accept such a difficult job? Let's finally tab out real quick. Okay, sorry. Be really strong. Lift gravestone only we can do. Huh? Well, that's true, but... Let's finish this job fast and get out of here. So I love how, like, there's the mummies. <laughs> That's it. No one's looking, right? Oh, let's actually sneak up on them. This thing sure looks heavy. Let's give it a try. Hey, don't be so loud. Ready? Lift. Oh, we did it. Quit making so much- Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Ah, oh, crap. I should have interrupted them. We did it. We lifted. I told you to be quiet. Hey, mark this grave. Soul, sleep here. Is this good? Not bad. Okay, we're done here. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I love, I love how like one of the mummies is very well spoken and he talks like a normal guy, but the other guy is like stereotypical, like zombie, like oh we lift gravestone, <laughs> soul sleep here, <laughs> you know, brains. But the other guy is just like he's like a normal guy. <laughs> I love the humor in this game so much. But yeah, if we interrupted them, we could have grabbed that soul. But uh, I'm, I am I goofed. I didn't run up there fast enough. But seeing their full dialogue is fun. Uh, we could replay the stage just to uh, grab the soul next time. Might be able to break the gravestone, actually. But let's sneak up on them. Oh, no, we can't break it. Shoot. Next time we'll play the stage, we'll uh, grab the soul when they lift it up. Yeah, that, the trees are creepy. I don't know. We can't... <laughs> the, uh... Oh. A lot of poison enemies, you gotta be careful. Oh, 
What's that? The goddess tier. I think that increases our uh, SP, so I think we're okay for now. Oh god, more fire skeletons. Oh no. So, uh, also- Oh shit! God, not again! <laughs> not again! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> shit! So, you probably noticed that my fire resistance actually went down. Usually it goes up when you get hit by fire damage, but it went down this time because we died from it. So if you die from it, you actually lose your resistance. Uh, otherwise, your resistance goes up every time you get hit by it. Okay, let's buy some healing items real qu quick because I am not on my A game today. Ladies, ladies, please. We need, <laughs> we need help. Please. <laughs> it was just three skeletons and I got hit by them. I was being foolish. Uh, how much does that? 50. Yeah, let's grab some healing drops. We can only afford the one, but you know what? It's better than nothing. Put that here. Yeah, I know we goofed. We goofed. Let's put the uh, card in the storage as well. Alright. Back, 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 back. Jackalopes, welcome on in! A chain of boppings and fireballs, yeah! Mick, how is our- how's our fire resistance looking, by the way? It's A, that's pretty good. I mean, I could just do this for a while. And get my fire resistance up. <laughs> but I could sit here forever trying to wait for my resistance to go up. Okay, okay, let's just go back, back, back. We're just... We need, like, something that's strong against, like, elemental, uh, enemies. Take that, take that. And yeah, if you die, you lose your gold and you drop one of your items. Uh, here, let me take care of these guys real quick. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, in this case, we, we dropped our shield, so... <laughs> you have to wonder what uh, what hubs where adventurers gather must be like. All these knucklehead bozos subjecting themselves to ridiculous tortures under the belief that it makes them stronger. Yeah! <laughs> You know what? It's there for a reason. <laughs> I'm not really on my A game this morning, so let me let me God, this is like level two. Like this is not even like the hardest part of the game. <laughs> okay, eat that. Eat the herb. Eat the herb. <laughs> Oops, skeleton archer. Let's see what that's all about. Not a regular skeleton. Its crossbow is powerful. It's not just any skeleton, it's a skeleton with a crossbow. Oh, oh, big boy, big boy, big boy. Now you'll see that if I uh, use my spin attack and then hit the attack button right after, it does a second attack, which is also very strong. All right, we're good, we're fine. Uh, oh, a graveyard key. Don't mind if I do. No booty, no booty. It's true. I think there are some booty enemies in this one, though. And in fact, I think a lot of the enemies from Shining Soul 1 uh, make a reappearance in Shining Soul 2. Uh, I think those booty golems, in fact, appear later in the game. I mean, I guess no reason why they wouldn't save the same sprites they used in the first one for the second one. I don't think there's any in the graveyard, unfortunately. Ooh, careful, careful. No booty! <laughs> Ooh, more keys, more keys. All right, let's go. Can't break that, okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, so yeah, you do need both keys to get through here. So either you have to fight those monsters or just like run past them and grab the key and run back, but we can fight them. We can take them. Tyroth is one of the strongest characters in this game. He can- whoa, whoa, whoa! Do not get crushed. 
Here we go. Anything in here for Tyros? What's that? Bracers? Uh, I don't know, it's not as good as their shield. Okay, well first let's heal. Tasty. I do like using our axe because it gives us a, uh, uh, a vitality boost, so more HP for us. Ah, oh, this... Ooh, we leveled up. It's fire skeletons, though. They're gonna be a pain. If we had something that could, uh, be strong against them, that would help a lot, but we don't really have anything except for our, uh... We got our regular flail, and we've got our fire fire axe, but... Oh, shoot! Dark damage from that guy. Oh, god, he's strong. Okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're good, we're fine. Everything's fine, don't, don't panic. Uh, leather gloves. Oh, no, it's, it's the same strength as our shield. Okay. So let's, oh gosh, let's level up. Now, let me think. We should probably save our skill points, because we'll need two for the next one. So we'll hang on to those. We'll, we'll just stick with the Axe, Flail, Shield, Break Armor, and Fire Breath. Um, but let's increase our Strength and our Dexterity. Now we're out of healing items. We could use our Angel Wing to fly back to town and get more, though. We could do that. Oop. Get out of here. I think if we get to the boss, we will, uh, heal first. Oh god, more of these guys. No, 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 no! Okay, uh, Angel Wing. Okay, <laughs> Not taking any chances, not taking any chances. Let's heal at the bar. Not taking any chances today. Give me a nap. Okay. Now, I don't really have that much gold. Let's just let's just do our best. Farming fest on stream. You getting anything? <laughs> no. I don't intend on farming too much. The fire the fire skeletons are still back behind us. I'm going to try to not grind too much. Also, I want to reiterate again, the backgrounds on this game are so pretty. Like, it's almost like everything's kind of painted on, uh, which makes the kind of animated chibi characters stand out so much more. Really well done, like, aesthetics in this game. Oh, how do we do this one? Go around from the left, I think. It's been a while. I don't remember exactly how to get all the secrets. Get out of here. Stop shooting at me. What you got? Oh, Angel Wing, good. Uh, hand Axe, I could just sell that. Our Goblin Axe is pretty nice, so we're probably not gonna need to, uh... change it out anytime soon. You can't go from this side? Hmm. How do we do this one? Maybe we can't get this one. know how to get this one. Maybe we can't? It's like a, just a, a little trick. You think you can get it, but you can't. I mean, you can break it if you have, um, if you've got an attack that attacks, like, you know, an area, area attack. Uh, but we can't actually get to it. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, and there's the next area. It's red. Does that mean there's the boss up ahead? Let's see. Oh no, Boken! Boken, what happened? Oh shoot! Oh crap, we need the soul for this. No! We'll come back and redo this stage. Yeah, so that soul that the, uh, the mummies had, if you grab that and you throw it at this guy, you can revive him. Oh, Boken! <laughs> I'm so sorry! 
We'll go back and redo this stage if we have time. I'm sorry, we can't help you right now. Let's come back and save you later. We, you know what? You'd think that Tyroth could fly with his wings. He actually can't, which is kind of a shame. They're just cosmetic, I guess. Oh, Ty, uh, Pokin. We'll get, we'll redo the stage. We'll redo this one and save him. I want to show you guys what happens when we save him. He died. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Yeah, redo that stage, grab the, the soul from the, uh, the gravestone. <laughs> Rip! <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> Just leave your friends behind. Oh! The Farming Fest on Steam! You know, I actually already own Paleo Pines, but if you guys don't have Paleo Pines yet, this is a really good opportunity to get it. With the sale going on, it's a lovely game. Uh, you play, it's like a farming game, but you play with a dinosaur. I mean, sorry, you have dinosaurs in your ranch helping you farm. It's a beautiful, very cute, wholesome game. Uh, I played it a little bit on stream uh, before. I really love it. Um, you can have stegosauruses and uh, a couple other stegosaurs, not just stegosaurus themselves, but a couple other stegosaurs, like kentrosauruses and um, whoeversauruses. Uh, it's so cute though, it is a very cute game, and it's made by an indie studio from Northern Ireland. Uh, so if you want to support your indie game makers... Here we go, secrets! I know I'm low in health, I know I'm low in health. We'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Okay, okay. Yeah, the player doesn't die, they get dunked back at the inn. Uh, they just have to have their souls taken- <laughs> they, they just have their souls taken out and be put back in again. No harm done. Yeah, it's a very- it's a very, like, this game is very silly and, and kind of cartoony in that respect. So let's- so that background music you hear right now, that indicates we're about to fight a boss, and I don't want to fight a boss with 6 HP, so I'm actually going to go ahead and fly back to town. Um, real fast, real fast. Heal. And then I think I'm going to also identify some of those mystery items, because they might be some good health- uh, some good defense for us for this next boss. <laughs> but yeah, everything's kind of cartoony. It's like not too serious. Now it's quickly, quick, 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 quick. Tyroth, you're so slow. Okay, go. Um, the gold in the bag. Well, we can put the um. Oops. We can put the monster cards in the book later, but uh, for right now, just store them. We'll do them all at once. Um, we can sell some of this stuff. Yeah, sell some of the stuff we don't need. And buy some healing items. And quickly. Real fast, real fast. I might want to actually identify some of our mystery items. She charges so much for it, though. Uh, leather beret, regular beret, cotton gloves. I think leather berets me a little bit better. Leather beret, leather beret of the ward plus two. Oh. Okay, extra defense from that. Noted. What's this one? Beret of might. Oh, that's nice. Increases our defense and our attack. And then this one is... Cuttingles plus one. Okay. So we might actually want to use the beret of might. It's not as defensive as the beret of ward, but it does make our strength go up. And I think that's going to be useful for Tyroth. So put your hat on, Tyroth. Put your hat on. Uh, Akiko on sale. I recommend that too. It's a, a bee breeding game. Aww. That sounds cute. Aww. Okay. Put the- put- sell- sell your armor that you don't need, and then buy healing items, because we're gonna- I don't want to die on this boss. I don't remember what this boss entails, but just to be safe, let's get two healing drops. Put the rest in our bank. Yeah, put the beret on this dragon. <laughs> okay, I think we're suited up. I think we're good. I think we're good. Take the angel back. Also, 
you have to take the angel back. If you go and leave to the world map, you actually lose the angel. She only stays as far as you're like in the castle, so you have to take her back. Otherwise, you'll start the level over again. A mistake I've made when I first played this game. I was like, oh, I'll just like go and do another level and come back to her later. No, she's gone if you leave, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, do our best. Oh, he's a big boy. Who's there? I am the Grove Giant, the keeper of the cemetery. You disturbed my sleep. As long as I live, you shall never reach Mistress Rosari's palace. I believe he's weak to fire, so I'm hoping the fire axe will help us here, but uh... <laughs> Okay, look out for the falling rocks. Noted. Oh! And his fist. Oh my gosh. I think we can just kind of bait him. Uh... Oh, he's kind of stuck on the side of that coffin, isn't he? Oh no, he's not. He's not stuck. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh, 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 Okay, one HP in a dream just now. <laughs> oh god. Oh. I know, <laughs> one HP. I'm getting greedy, I got it. No greed, no greed, no greed. Uh, run, 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 just go, just go. He's kind of got a booty, but not much. No! Shoot! Shoot! I overestimated. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where? What? Gosh. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. We can do it. This is fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you again. You again! <laughs> no matter how many times you try, I shall not let you pass. At least they have different dialogue for when you uh, die and come back. We gotta start over though, so it's gonna be a bit of a pain. Bait his attack. Yeah, we go. Just, just bait him. Go slow. Don't, don't get greedy. It's not a very hard boss. Not hard. Not hard. Just don't get greedy. Very simple. I'm a bit impatient, that's why I fumble, I think. Mm -hmm. We're good. Alright, alright. Oh, he's kind of stuck. Good. Love to see it. Love to see a boss who's stuck on the edge of the stage. Yeah, you stuck. You stuck. You can't come towards me. Nice. Love to see it. There we go. Oh, I was not strong enough. You shall not reach Mistress with Wizari's palace. Yeah, that's what you thought. You thought. Yeah, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Is Reiji sad about that that enemy? I don't know. The, the Grow Giant and Mr. Shazari are not very good people. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and check what the uh, king has to say. I know, poor Grove Giant. You wonder if there's support groups for guardian monsters who failed their duties. Aww. <laughs> what? You made it through the graveyard? Well done. You must punish that witch for abducting our daughter. Wazari lives in a maze-like palace, and she has many monsters serving her. It is said that she has rats larger than humans. Oh, his default color is red, but when you select the character, you can pick a color scheme for them, and I liked purple because it's my favorite color. I think that's like 
I want to see like 10 different colors you can pick. It's it's pretty nice. But his default color is actually red. My dear Camille, please be safe. Tyroth, please rescue her. And make sure that, that witch will think twice before doing something like this again. Good luck. Yeah, uh, Princess Camille. The, the, the king is worried sick. What's the queen have to say? You seem to be doing your best, Tyroth. I'm learning how to bake cookies right now. I had the chef teach me, and he and began making them myself. If peace ever returns to this world, would you care to try some? Hmm? You sound excited. What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. This is between me and Tyroth, dear. Yeah, no, no worries that our daughter is missing. I want to bake cookies. <laughs> and she wants to share her cookies with Tyroth. I think she's got a... I think she's got a crush on Tyroth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the king have to say. <laughs> we haven't heard from Death Heart yet. Yes. Oh, dear, it's Tyroth. Oh, Tyroth. I'm sorry that I couldn't note that I didn't notice you. Wazari's palace is rumored to be like a maze. Who knows what traps await you? It sounds quite dangerous. Please be careful. Yes, be careful on your mission. Gotta bake cookies for the big strong dark dragon. It's true. <laughs> Hush, dear, and ponder your orb. Also, can we ponder the orb? The crystal is cloudy. All right, let's level up real fast. Level up, level up. Let's give ourselves some more vit uh, intellect and di vitality. And let's do, uh, I don't know, let's do one for everything. Now for this, uh, what do we want to level up? Axe, flail, shield, armor, or breath. I'll do it as a pole. How about that? How about chat decide what my next skill is going to be? Um, what should we upgrade next? Uh, axe, flail, shield. Oops, 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 oops. Shield. Uh, break armor or breath. And we'll just vote for one minute. It's time to choose. Which skill should I upgrade next? Uh, the breath attack uh, is like a fire breath, which is the counter attack. Break armor lowers any defense. The shield is our power up for our defense and our parry. Flail is increased our power for our flails and our charge attack, which means instead of doing a, like a single charge, we can charge it up twice. And same with axe, increased axe attack and uh, increased charge attack. And I think these are going to be the five skills that we use to this playthrough. Because there's a level cap in this game, you can't actually max out everything. Um, but we should be pretty good with these five skills. I think that'll be pretty helpful. And what skill upgrade do you guys want to see? Uh, with the uh, shield, like it's it's the more frequent parry we can do. As well as with the breath, it'll be like a more frequent uh, breath counterattack. The other stuff is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so we got a uh, tie between axe and shield. Okay, let's see. How about a tiebreaker? Let's do a quick tiebreaker between axe and shield. Axe or shield. And if it's still 50-50, uh, I'll just, you know, do the tiebreaker myself. It's but uh, between those two, what do you guys want to see? Increased axe damage and st uh, 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 damage and um, charge, or increased uh, shield parry. I actually really love the axe in this game, um, and parrying is super useful. Uh, but like between the axe and the flail, I actually prefer the axe. But it's good to power up both because sometimes you'll find a weapon. You might find a flail that's like really good, so you want to make sure you have a thing for it. And also, some weapons, they require a higher level. Um, if you don't level up enough, sometimes you can't actually use some weapons. And I think this goes with the shield, too. If you don't level up it up enough, you can't actually use some shields. So it depends. And Tidebreaker is closing. Get your votes in. What do we want to see? <laughs> it's 50-50 again. Okay, I'm going to pick... I'm gonna pick. 
I'm gonna pick shield for now because we only have the one axe. Um, we'll do this for now. Okay. How do I go back? Go back. Oh shoot! I didn't actually save that, did I? Sorry, with with using the um, Xbox controller, I'm not really sure. <laughs> okay, so let's. I think we've got enough time. We have. I think we can go a little overtime. I think we've got enough time to do the uh, side quest real fast. Oh, actually, let's talk to the uh, guy at the bar. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, what? I wasn't sleeping. Um, I was meditating. You know, meditating. I don't know. <laughs> I love these guys. Uh, what does the musician have to say? Kindness can be expressed through music. Not everything is easily explained in words. Music is different. It speaks to us directly. Aw, I love this guy. All right, Jensen, the bartender, what do you have to say? Welcome. Huh? Who's the girl downstairs? Welcome oh. to your door. <laughs> oh, that's my daughter. Her name's Angela. That room is going to be for guests. But the king asked me to let you use it, Tyroth. So if you're retired, feel free to use it. Angela will keep it clean and make the bed. She's a good girl. Tyroth, will you be her friend? You're about the same age, so you'll get along well. Angela doesn't seem to like talking to me. Well, she's at that age. I'm sure she'll outgrow it. Aw, oh, Jensen! Single father. Don't you love the single father energy? I was like, ex-warrior. Um, yeah, let's, let's cop off her health. I love Jensen. Not just because he's he has a similar name to Adam Jensen, but because he's just like a really... Well, I mean, we'll, we'll learn more about him later in the game, but... I don't know. Something about this, like, ex-warrior, single dad, you know, I don't know. He kind of, he gets to me. <laughs> so let's go do the side quest real fast. Uh, Grandma Khalid as well. Also, these two, these two slimes in the bed. Interesting. <laughs> also, oh, buffering. I like big men. Oh, we're dropping frames again. Why is that? Shoot. Here, hang on. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I think. Okay, sorry guys. I don't know what happened there. Uh, let me know if it drops again. Let me know. Okay, thank you for the heads up. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, so, we killed those two slimes, but, uh, something, a fun, a fun little secret here, if you go into the bed, watch this. A baby paste! <laughs> so you saw the two slimes in the bed, and there was a baby, they're making a baby in there. <laughs> baby, don't cry. It's sad, but this is a war. Now, I don't know what the, using the baby actually does. I'm gonna just hang on to it for now. <laughs> All right, so let's... We'll probably do the uh, side quest here, and then we will, uh, we'll, we'll, um... Uh, do our break. Oh, Lady Flip, 75 stream streak, oh my goodness! Yeah, let's do her a shout-out. Lady Flip. And do a, a shout-out. She's also playing the System Shock, uh, not remake. System Shock, the original, uh, System Shock. Yeah, pause and unpause me too. It seems like whatever happened, whatever bug was going on there, um, seems to be fixed for now. I hope. Let's go shout out to Lady Flib. If you're not following Lady Flib, she's my partner. Ew, what the fuck? The baby, the two slimes making a baby, is that what you're referring to? <laughs> Some very, like, adult humor in a kid's game. <laughs> More scales, take that, take that. <laughs> but yeah, if you're not following Lady Flib, uh, she's a penguin. She's my partner. She's my moderator. She's been playing through the System Shock games. Uh, she's excited for System Shock 2, but uh, I think she's gonna get through System Shock 1 first. 
uh, pretty cool old, like super retro um, immersive sim. Refreshing time to have missed a risque joke. Uh, so the risque joke was that there were two slimes in the bed, and if you go into the bed, you find a baby slime, which we picked up. It's an item. I don't know what it does. <laughs> baby paste. So yeah, that was a little bit, not like inappropriate, but definitely the implication of two slimes in the bed and then finding a baby in the bed. It makes you wonder. It makes you think. <laughs> Also, Taki, welcome pancakes into chat. I hope you mean. I hope you mean that you are bringing pancakes to chat. I hope you. <laughs> so yeah, the uh, the side quest here that we're doing. The uh, old lady said that there are there are monsters appearing from her well. So we're going down into the well, finding out what's going on here. What is going on in her well? It seems to lead to this whole cave complex. Uh, the slimes are not very strong, so we should be fine against most of these guys. Short flail, is that- how's that compared to what we have right now? Oh, not very good. Okay. And then we are coming up with an ad break. Uh, you'll get about three minutes of ads. Uh, I'll fill you in on what you missed when you come back. If I forget to fill you in, just let me know. Let's do anything else before we jump through that, uh, tunnel. Oh! Kelvin! Scaly time, baby. Kelvin Shade Ewing just resubscribed for two months. Stampeding for two months. <laughs> My legs are feeling tired. <laughs> Kelvin! Oh, thank you for that two month subscription. And yes, you've been stego stampeding for two months. <laughs> well, thank you so much for that resub, Kelvin. I really appreciate that. Now, Kelvin Shade Wing, here, we can give. We can give Kelvin a- whoops. Let's give Kelvin a shout out. So Kelvin, definitely the same areas that level three you were- Yeah, I was actually thinking, uh, Amp, when, we, when you were playing Shining Soul 1, there is definitely references to Shining Soul 1 and Shining Soul 2. Um, I didn't even realize it because I never played Shining Soul 1. And I saw you playing it. I, I didn't want to say anything, but I was like, I think they copy the Shining Soul 1 levels into Shining Soul 2. That's really cool. Um, here, let's, let's shout out Kelvin Shadewing, a squirrel and a Shadewing. Uh, freshly baked croissants. Uh, when my uncle Frank died, he wanted he wanted his cremations to be buried in his favorite beer mug. His last wish was to be Frankenstein. <laughs> Please, you know I like puns here. You know I like puns here. I got a pun emote. Well, freshly baked croissants, welcome on in. Very good joke. Good joke. Good joke. Good times. <laughs> oh, Uncle Frank. <laughs> but yeah, it seemed like Chang Soul One, which is interesting that they copied some Shining Soul One dungeons into Shining Soul Two. And I think, considering Shining Soul 2 is a little bit more of a solid game than the first one, it's cool to kind of incorporate some of that. But it's like the side quest, you know? It's like, the Shining Soul 1 quests are like the side quests in Shining Soul 2. Very interesting. Uh, how, did the how did the archaeologist know his jokes were ancient? I don't know, how did the archaeologist know his jokes were ancient? They were written in stone! <laughs> They were written in stone. Please, the croissants. <laughs> well, welcome on in. Thank you for the jokes. You know I love corny humor here. I mean, I don't know if you know that, but I like corny humor here. I hope you're having a good time today. Ooh, fire slime. Careful, careful. Well, hope you're enjoying uh, Shining Soul 2. I loved this game when I was a kid. I'm revisiting it on stream with all of you. Uh, and Ampelion had said this game was actually made by Suda51, which I didn't even realize because it's so different than the stuff they made later. Like, uh, like uh, I know them from No More Heroes. I've probably made other stuff too, but uh, I know Suda from uh, no, from uh, Grasshopper Manufacturer. Sorry, uh, from No More Heroes. But I, I think Amp was saying that this is like the first series that they actually released in English. Uh, which is probably why, you know, 
It's not something that... It was like the first kind of introduction to the uh, grasshopper manufacturer that uh, Americans would be familiar with. Which is cool, because you think you would have shown them on like the title screen or something, but it's always just like, oh, it's Sega and um, Atlas. Oh, boss already? Okay, okay. We'll have time for the boss and then take our five minute break and do our next segment. Uh, but let's see. Oh, it just jumps right, in, right into the boss. Okay, uh, 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 oh gosh, oh gosh. He's so fast. Again, fire axe against fire enemies, probably not ideal. Uh, welcome back to the ad break. Uh,. You, we just got to rush the dungeon and now we're on the boss. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh, it's so bad! Oh god! Oh god! Okay, okay. Yellow one's dead. Get these guys. We're good? Okay, that wasn't so bad. Uh, Dinosaur King, was that a. Was that an anime? That sounds familiar. Okay. Okay, we survived. Let's go find that old lady. We survived. You defeated the monsters for me? Thank you so much. I'm saved. I have a gift for you. Please take it. Oh, 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 oh. That's a summon. That's a summon. That's a summon. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, anime from the early 2000s. Yeah, that sounds familiar. I can't remember if I... I don't know if I ever watched it, though. Here, let me, uh, quickly identify the flail. Short flail will... Oh, it increase our intelligence, but I kind of want to... doesn't really do much for our attack. Oh, wait, what is it compared to this? Oh, yeah, it's not very... that's not very strong. Okay. We'll sell it. Oh wait, uh, sell that, and then identify our other one. Cotton Gloves of Glory, what does that do? Glory, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be doing much for us though. Now what I will do, what I will do, go to the bank. Give me the other scale. Oh, wait. Crafting. Let me see. Let me see something. Do we have to give him something to craft with, or can we just give him the scales? I give him. So the crafting system, you give him materials and then he asks how much you want to pay. The more you pay, the higher chance you have of getting a good item from him. So I'm going to give him. Uh, shoot. Let me go to the bank. I don't know how it works exactly, but I know the more money you give him, the more opportunity you have of getting a good item from him. So let's go ahead and... Give him... Also, uh, Freshly Baked Croissants, do you stream? Because we can shout you out if you stream. We shout out everybody here, except for bots. Let's give him, um, here, let's give him a thousand. Let's give him a, a nice, a nice crisp thousand. Here you go. I love that sound effect, by the way. And he gave us the scale gloves plus one. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, no. It increases our defense a tiny bit and gives us a little bit of fire resistance. You know what? I think that's worth. I think that's worth. All right, thank you, old man. You don't stream PC, can't even run a Pokemon emulator properly. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, we're having fun here, even still. Uh, let's sell the shield real fast. Sell the shield, sell the shield. Go to the bank. Shout at bots, not out. Yes, exactly. We shout at the bots. Cause screw the bots, you know? Now. A streamer has to run to the bathroom. I'm just gonna do this real fast. We might have time for one more stage before our break, uh, but I'm gonna take a quick be right back 
and I'm going to uh, run to the bathroom. I'm going to run an ad break and I'm going to run a clip show and I'll see you guys in about three to five minutes. Oh, shoot. My buttons are not working. Okay. Stream deck. Hang on. We can do it manually. We can run it manually. We can do manually. All right. See you guys in about like three to five minutes. I got to pee real fast. I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, I think we're back. I think we're back. Let me go back to my um, gaming. Thank you for your patience there. I really had to really had to let loose there. <laughs> so I think we might. Um, we can go a little over time. I want to show you guys what happens when you save Boken in the uh, graveyard. So we need to actually do that real fast. It'll be a quick it'll be a quick um, a quick little run there. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the uh, clip show. I got some pretty funny clips uh, clipped by either myself or others. Uh, clips are encouraged in this channel, by the way. If you see something entertaining or funny or, or you know, any kind of emotion that you, that evokes into you, uh, feel free to clip it. I, I don't mind, honestly. Whether it's a blunder or a victory. <laughs> so let me actually quickly go through the Dryad's Graveyard one more time. I'll show you what happens when we save Boken Soul. Plus a little bit level up couldn't hurt, you know? A little level up is not gonna hurt. We kind of need it. And they'll take our little, uh... Well, we actually did our midstream break just now, so we can actually jump right into our novel segment after this. Uh, leather vest, probably not as good as what we got. Yeah, oh, oh, no, it is a little bit better. Although it's going to decrease our dexterity by quite a bit, so I'm going to keep our dexterity uh, for now. Because that helps our ev evasion and our uh, damage, or sorry, our, uh, our hitting. So let's get quick, quick, quick. Just a quick run through. Quick little run. Also, did we go over here last time? I don't know if we did. Oh, we did, we did. We got that black chest. Okay. Yeah, get that black chest. Uh oh. Yeah, not don't get killed by a skeleton this time. That gold. I'm wondering, when we finish signing Shining Soul 2 as Tyroth, would you want to see one of the other character playthroughs, or would you just want to see a different game? Um, I've played the game... I played this game... I don't know if I've played it with every character. I know you unlock a character after you beat it the first time. Uh, and there's other characters you can try out as well. We'll see how you guys feel after uh, Shining Soul 2, if you want to see a different character, or if you want to see a different game. The wolf... Yeah, I love... The wolf is one of my favorites. I forgot his name. Ooh, protection ring. What's that do? Uh, protect. Ooh. Defense plus three. Oh, but if we equip the, if we equip the protection ring, we don't have the additional inventory. But our inventory is not full yet, so it's probably okay. Uh, once we get more items, we can equip our inventory case. Cause for now, we don't have that many weapons. Items are probably a little bit more useful. I mean, by the way, uh, defense is a little bit more useful. Ooh, long sword. Oh wait, that's not a Tyroth weapon, is it? Yep, just the ninja and the warrior. Okay, that's fine. We can sell it. I mean, I I love this game very much. I could play it over and over and not get bored of it. Oh, leather hood. Leather hood, please tell me that's the unlucky hood. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to investigate that. But we got our level up, so let's go ahead and we'll save our skill point for now. But let's go ahead and get our strength decks. Let's actually add a little bit. Uh, no, what we'll do, we'll do each one gets one point for now. I think this is pretty fine for now. Kind of want to increase our HP a little bit more, but 75 is not bad. I mean, if we don't get hit, you know, don't get hit forehead, and then you won't have to worry about losing HP, you know?
Now this in Titan Soul 1, uh, one of your power-ups you could get was to give you increased damage against the undead. You don't you don't get that one in Shining Soul 2, at least not for the uh, Dragon Newt. Uh, stream Scribe! Carlo! Carlo the Stream Scribe! Welcome on in! Oh my goodness! How are you doing today? Let me give a quick shout out. Uh, the stream, the stream scribe, you got the squirrel, the squirrel, <laughs> the run forest. Uh, so stream scribe, uh, as he has ADHD, uh, he kind of, um, you know, he's kind of a squirrel. He kind of associates squirrels with his ADHD, uh, when his mind is wandering and he's getting distracted. Uh, that's where the squirrel emote comes from. Also very cute. Uh, the stream scribe, the stream, the stream, yeah, scream scribe, I know. <laughs> um... But he does art, uh, calligraphy, uh, all kinds of art. Uh, he's also used to be a DJ. He's still got those DJ skills. You don't know what you, what I mean. The you never get distracted. The squirrels in your brain never distract you. That's true. You love the Shining series. Oh my gosh, fellow Shining Shining fan, have you ever played Shining Soul or are you just familiar with the like, Shining Force? I love both. Um, I'm glad to find more Shining fans. I know KJ294 who was in here, uh, well, he wasn't in here when we raided into him and uh, he was mentioning like he loves Shining Force. So much a fan back then, yes! Shining in the Darkness, which one was that? I've played Shining Force, uh, you know, the, the Legend of the Dark Dragon or whatever, the Game Boy, the Game Boy port of uh, the original Shining Force. I mean, sorry, yeah. Shining Force? The first one. Oh my gosh, those games are so fun. Uh, I love the world. Uh, it's like, it's like I mean, it's medieval fantasy, but like, I love the, you know, it's got the centaurs, it's got the bird people, it's got the dragon people, it's got the little, it's at Yogurt. Uh, we haven't met Yogurt in this game yet, but Yogurt, the little, like, he's like a hamster or something. Every Shining fan loves Yogurt. He's the best character. <laughs> yogurt, yes, <laughs> Yogurt, best character. <laughs> His, he's not very strong, but we love him. We respect him. We respect Yogurt. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, the Shining games are so good. Well, welcome on in. And everyone, if you, haven't, if you have not checked out the Stream Scribe, uh, check him out. He does art. He uh, does, like, DJ stuff. Yeah, the Sid of the Shining series. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I got any good. Do we get anything good just now? I don't want to. Uh, okay, yeah. Now make sure we grab the soul this time. They're gonna be doing their dialogue. <laughs> also, yeah, I think I mentioned before. Like, I love how this one zombie is all like articulate, and their zombie is like, "We really strong. <laughs> Lift gravestone only. We can do." You're the freak who sprung for the 4-CD Japanese import of the Shining Saga for Saturn. Crazily Epic never got released here. Oh, that's cool. You, you know what? I would love to see- I don't know if you stream- you don't really stream games on your streams, but I would be curious to see it if you ever want to show us. But yeah, Carlo is a great guy. If you've never followed his uh, streams before. Okay, interrupt them right when they reveal that. Okay, get him. Get him, get him. We need this to give to Boken. It was long but lovely. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't caught your streams lately. What kind of stuff have you been working on, by the way? Also, I know you did you did that uh you did that piece for me a while back. If you still need my uh I thought I sent you my address on Discord. If you still need it, let me know. Uh, Cause I'd love to show people that one you did for me beautiful, like, beautiful calligraphy of, like, my username. <laughs> Random new things are always a challenge. <laughs> but that's, you embrace the challenges, though. That's the thing. You're not afraid of, like, you're not intimidated by, like, trying new things. Everything sent out, you thought. Okay. Well, hmm. It could be, sometimes our neighbors get stuff by mistake. It's alright, don't worry. <laughs> Always afraid, just an idiot. No, Carlo, give yourself more credit. <laughs> oh, let me show. You. Oh shit! God, dang it! I was gonna show you guys what happens when we use our soul summon. Crap! Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're fine. We're fine. 
We're fine. Just go back, go back. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Let me show you guys what happens when we use our soul summon though. Nah, sorry guys. Not on my A game today. Go back, go back. We're using the slowest character, I'm sorry. He's so slow. Although since the first playthrough we've done, when we play the other characters, you'll see how fast they are. You might think this is like normal running speed. He's actually really slow. <laughs> grab that, grab that. Put your vest back on. <laughs> Wait, put, put it back on, put it back on. Get your armor. Now we're going to do our summon, which I think is hitting the select button. So let me try that real fast. Here we go. Here he comes! Ryujin! Oh, baby! So he just does a bunch of damage and stuns the enemies. Uh, it actually hits every enemy on the screen. There's only the one enemy on the screen this time, but uh, yeah, those summons are so good. Uh, you, now you get your soul summons by, I think you get them from attacking enemies. Like the more enemies you defeat, the faster it charges up. Um, or something like that. I don't remember exactly the conditions, but you can actually get like stronger summons along the way. Uh, very cool stuff. It's one of my favorite gameplay mechanics of this game. So yeah, doing the side quests that old lady gave us the, uh, the old lady can give you either Ryujin or uh, Adam Dragon. I was kind of hoping we get Adam Dragon because he's cool, but Ryujin's cool too. We get Adam Dragon later. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what that's what that does, and sometimes it pays off to do the side quest because you get cool uh, rewards like that. And some of this can be pretty helpful during boss fights as well. Uh, hand axe, not as good as what we have, I think. Yeah. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Just speed run. We're going to our second segment soon. I just want to make sure I finish this level real fast. Just finish the level. So our next segment of stream, I'm going to be reading part of a novel, a fantasy novel to you guys, about a, uh, well, a d the Sorials, which, uh, dinosaur people, basically. I'm just going to try to get through the segment real fast. Get out of here, get out of here. But yeah, this was one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games from back in the day, which is like, when I become a streamer, I'm like, I'm gonna show everyone my favorite games from my childhood. <laughs> and that's what we've been doing on these streams, just showing you games from my childhood, pretty much. And stuff that the people uh, recommend. The yeah, viewers recommend. There's one that uh, Amp was showing me, the, the Dinosaurus, I'm gonna play that probably next, uh, Dinosaur RPG. Which I've never, I've never heard of, it only came out in Europe, apparently. stuff I've been playing. Like, with Spyro as well, like, and stuff from my childhood. I thought people had never heard of Shining Soul, and I was like, well, I'll play it then, because I want to show you guys this game. It's so cool. Like, I still have the original cartridge of it. I don't know how to do this one. That's okay. Okay, go down, go down. Yeah, so let's give, let's give, uh, Vulcan his soul back. Since to do that, we're going to equip his soul, also Boken soul. Bright, warm soul that wants to be reunited with its body. Oh, Boken, what happened to you, man? What did you do? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> okay, so get that. Uh, how do I do this? Oh yeah. Oh shoot, I did it wrong. Okay, hang on. Did it wrong. Gotta hit the button, hold the button, and I think I gotta get the ghost lined up with the body also. Oops, wrong button. There you go. There you go. Thanks, you saved me. Oh, you're Tyroth. Do you remember me? I'm Boken. I came to this graveyard in search of treasure. But I never thought I'd end up like these poor stiffs. 
I'll be more careful from now on. Well, I'll be heading back to Planto Castle. Thanks again for saving me. I think you can meet him at the castle after the stage as well. And Reiji keeps expecting to find out why is from your grave. Alert in the redeems whenever you start reviving character. You know you would think. <laughs> you would think. I think so I was wondering about that. Like I have a lot of sound redeems, but people don't really use them. I think people are so engaged in like what I'm doing, they don't really think to like hit the redeem button. Which is fine. I mean like whatever however you enjoy the stream, you don't have to like do funny sound alerts. They're there to have fun, but like if you're like so engaged in the game that you don't really think about it. You know, that's totally fine. But you're right that no one's been doing wise for your grave. <laughs> I mean, I have it on my soundboard. I could like do it on my soundboard if you guys really want it. <laughs> I do have a level up. I see the level up. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, he heal! Heal! Oh, heal! 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 Okay. Oh god. Easy, Tyra. Now, when you pause the game, you don't, you don't actually pause the game. The game continues when you hear your menu up, so I'm gonna kill these guys first. Welcome to your door. Whoa, 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 whoa. Focus, focus. Also, thank you for that. Welcome to your doom. Okay, got a healing potion. Good, 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 good. good. Okay. Take that potion. Take that potion. And then take our healing. Ta I mean, take our level up. Uh, how are we on level ups? Okay, let's do more. Let's just do one of each, and then I'm going to let uh, chat decide where my skill point will go. Do you want it on Axe, Flail, uh, Armor Break, or Breath? Slip slash pull. Hey, hold on. We gotta let you guys decide which skill. We got, uh, we've upgraded Shield already, so let's do Axe, Flail, uh, Armor Break, or um, Breath. Now, which one do you want to see next? Start that poll for one it's minute. Time to choose. Thank you, G-Man. Thank you, G-Man. And you can see also, uh, we've got that one point towards our dark resistance. That's because we took damage from that dark skeleton before. That's something I love about this game. Every time you take damage from elemental damage, excuse me, your uh, resistance actually increases unless you die from it. If you die from it, you actually lose resistance. But it's a really cool... Um, aspect of this game where you actually get benefits from taking damage. No, I think it was the same one. It might have sounded different for some reason, but it's gonna be the same the same uh, time to choose. I don't think I've updated that one. I kind of want to put all three in there because he says it three times. I'm gonna put all three in there, but we need to get a better like a crisp sound clip from it um, from Half-Life. Oh, big stretch. Just took a free, like, self-care while I'm stretching here, while the pole is going. It hit your ears differently. <laughs> okay, you guys want axe next? We'll do axe next. Get that axe upgraded. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Sorry. Get that axe upgraded. And now we can, uh, now we can do our axe, uh, twice. Yum. Okay. Fight that boss real fast. Who's there? I am the Grove Giant, the keeper of the cemetery. You disturbed my sleep. As long as I live, you shall never reach Mistress Rosari's palace. Now, same, same, you know, we know how to do this boss. Our soul is almost fully charged, though. So we, um, do big damage on him if we can summon Ryujin, though. Adam Dragon does fire damage to be much more, but, uh, you know, RNG, we didn't get Adam Dragon this time, we got, uh, Ryujin, which is fine. We know the strat, just don't get greedy, just... Oh man, that was fast. See, see what happens when you when you focus and you don't just get greedy. <laughs> uh, do you think Teen Hooligans ever run afoul of the Grove Golem? I, oh gosh, Ragey, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, Ragey. <laughs> don't be sneaking into graveyards. Never sneak into graveyards. <laughs> all right, all right. 
get that treasure chest on the way out. Ooh, is that another another weapon? What is that? The Francesca? Oh, a weapon. New weapon, new weapon. Okay. Okay, we're gonna actually identify those items and then we'll wrap up uh, segment one. Yeah, let's see what that Francesca is, because that might be pretty good. Hello, ma'am. Uh, first, cotton hood or leather hood? Uh, leather hood of ward. Increased defense to 35. Eh, I don't think I want to use it. Cotton gloves of purity. What does that do? Oh, poison resistance. That would have been useful. Uh, the Francesca of... Oh, the fire Francesca. Okay. Not as good as our fire axe. And then this is the cotton hood uh, plus one. Not as good. Okay, sell all this. Sell, sell it all. Sell it all. Sell all of this. We don't need this. Don't need this. Sell it all. Sell it all. Put it in the... Put it in the, the coffers. Also, what are you all selling? A banana? I'll take that banana. Heck yeah. Take that banana. Don't eat the peel! <laughs> HP by 50%, or by 50 points. Do not eat the peel. Noted. Don't eat the banana peel. Do not. <laughs> oh, the humor in this game. Leather vest, 35. Is it better, Bluey? I guess it is. We have the vest of talent, though. That's what we wanted. Because that makes our dexterity go up. Yeah, okay. Sell these. Sell them all. Go to the bank. And I think we will... Yeah, let's actually wrap up segment one. We've done our break. So next time we'll do Wizari's Palace. Uh, let me do a quick... I don't think we need to really worry about doing quick save, but just to be sure... Whoops. Where'd my filter go? I turn my filter off. I'll check on that for next time. Um, but saves your slice save slot. And now I think we're going to go and we're going to go. Will my stream deck work this time? Stream deck is still acting silly, but I'll put you guys on uh, this desk mode while I get this closed out here. So thank you for joining me on the first segment of Shining Soul. Uh, we're going to move it into just chatting. We'll be reading the next chapter of uh, Song of the Sariels. And I think since we already did our little five minute break, we'll just jump right into our book segment now. Let's we'll change the category to just chatting. We'll be reading this book for about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, however long it takes to get the next chapter. And uh, so this is a Dungeons and Dragons novel.